Oh, I think I pulled something. Ah! <laughs> So after seeing that little bit of Reinhardt kind of bounce around and fly off the screen with, you know, funny sound effects and whatnot, I bet you have a similar image in mind of something you want to do in one of your videos, but can't figure out how to do it because it's a very complicated process. Well, don't worry. I want to teach you how to do this using our buddy Torbjorn and a free editing software called Lightworks Pro that anyone can just pick up and download. So to kind of start us out, we got our picture of Torbjorn and our sunny beach where we're going to have him walk across. and. When setting this up, it's kind of like layering a cake. You're always going to want your base at the bottom. So take your background image and you're going to want to put it on the bottom spot. You can also do this with videos. It's just to keep it simple, we're going to use just a picture. And now we're going to take our little buddy Torbjorn, put him here on top, and he's going to show up like this. Now, you, you said, well, this is a transparent. Why is it blacking out like this? Well, that's just how Lightworks works until you go into the VFX tab you're going to want to do a right click, add an effect, and 3D DVE. So there you go. Now we have our buddy Torbjorn just chilling about. And he's still got some, uh, some black stuff around him, so we're going to crop that out. So if we go to our crop tab, we'll go to left, get that part out. Go to right, get this stuff out. There we go. Get the top. Well, well I guess the top and the bottom are good. That's just the image. And to adjust our size, Go to our Z and just kind of move it around until we find a size that fits. Now this is where we start messing with keyframes to make Torb move and kind of give life to the image. So think of your keyframes as your starting position of where you want your picture to move first. Now to just keep it simple, we're just gonna we're gonna have him off to the side and we're gonna make him move up to the water. So we're gonna go on the the X axis and we're gonna move him off screen to about right there. Now this is where you start messing with keyframes. So once you have your picture in the place where you want it to begin moving, you're gonna wanna click this little icon here that looks like a watch. So now that that's on, now we can, now we can choose how fast or how slow we want it to go. And the way we do that is with frames. So let's say we want Torb kind of running to the beach, but not too fast, and I think a good pace for that would be 10 frames. So we're just gonna hit the little arrow, move one frame. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's, uh, let's get our thing up so we can kind of get a better view of what we're looking at. So now that we're 10 frames ahead, now we choose the position of where we want the image to end at. Get real close, because this is actually kind of long. And so we want Torb to go to the water. So we're gonna bring him right there. And now, when you move back, you'll see that Torb will start to move. And then when we play the video, boom, he's there. Now you're gonna notice that he's gonna start to move back. That's because it's gonna try and reset to the frame that it once was at. So to avoid this from stop happening, you're gonna wanna go to the end of your sequence. If you just want him to move out and stay, just go all the way to the end. Zoom back up, be a bit faster. Go, go to the end, go to here, and you'll just want to type in where he was. So he was at, his max was at 52. So we go to the end, type in 0.52, and that's where he will stay for the duration of this. So he's just gonna walk up and he's just gonna stay right there for the entire duration of the clip. Now, when you, we wanna get him to bounce, that's where it starts getting a little tricky. Our keyframe's gone, we're on a clean slate. Let's just get Tor back in the center here and let's make him bounce up and down. So we're gonna want him to kinda, well, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter how it works. You can kinda fiddle around with the positions all you want. So find your starting position, we're at 0.22y and 0.45x. Let's just get them in the center, so 0 0.5. There we go. Now to make them move up and down, you're gonna be messing mostly with the y-axis. So you're gonna find your starting point, which obviously would be right here. Uh, hit your keyframe. Now a good bouncing speed that I've found is about five frames. So we're gonna to go to one, two, three, four, five. All right, and he's at 0.22 right now, so let's just make him go up three paces. So we're gonna go to 0.25, that's 0.256, 0.25, and now he's moved up a little bit. 
And now when we go back in, you'll see him kind of just go up and down. So once we get that established, we're going to go back to the keyframe where we put him up, which was about five frames. And you'll know you're on the correct frame because your little plus icon will be faded out. So now you're going to move one more frame, add another keyframe, go another five frames, so one, two, three, four, five, and we'll put him back down to where he was, or, or we can make it exaggerate a bit more. Let's exaggerate a bit more. So he started at 0.23, and we put him up to 0.25. Now let's just put him at 0.2, so then he'll be there, and now you're on your next frame. So now he's going up and down when we play it. So we go one more frame over, add another starting point, add another keyframe, and then we go one, two, three, four, five, and we put them back up to where we want them to be, so back at point two five, and now he's gonna stay there. And your plus is gonna be faded. Go one more frame over, add another starting point. One, two, three, four, five, and then put them back at point two. And there we go. Now when we play it, he's gonna look like he's bouncing up and down. See? He just kind of went up and down a little bit. Now we can kind of cheat the system with that so you're not just uh, going back and forth with all that. So we're going to go back to our edit log. Go here. Wait till the end of his bouncing. So it's going to go up, back down, up, back down. All right, right there. We're going to cut that by pressing the C key. We don't really want to mess with our background. So just kind of click on it, make it fade out, then you're not doing anything. I already cut it, but it doesn't matter. So remove. Now that all that slack's gone, let's zoom in a little bit. Now go over to this, make sure there's no little highlights. Press control, click it, and then drag it over to the side. So we just copied what we just did. So now, it's just gonna go up, 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 up. And boom, you can just keep overlaying that over and over again. Now, messing with keyframes, you can do this with a lot of stuff. We could have Torb move to the right, even. So if we go to this thing, we go back to our video effects, we put a keyframe on our X axis, let's just have him walk to the end of the thing. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and we'll have him go all the way out by the end of the thing. Oops. Okay, move back, and he's going to want to finish off screen. There we go. And now that we have our X keyframe in, you'll see him just kind of come back in as he's walking away. Go back to our edit, see the finished result. He's just going to bounce up down and walk off. And that's it. That's how you make little funny images move across the screen and give them life and bouncing. I hope that helped you. So yeah, that's it guys. I really hope that helps you out and I hope I explained it in a way that helped you understand and all I ask is that you give me some feedback on how I did when I taught you, and maybe if you made something, link it down in the comments so I can watch it, so I can see what you made. I think that'd be really cool. If there's anything else you guys want me to teach you with Lightworks Pro, or anything you want me to find out with like streaming and whatnot, just ask down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Go out and create stupid, funny meme images and shit posts all over YouTube for me. <laughs>